the 24 jatas. This is chapter 9. Goddesses, oaths, runes. Literacy on the symbolic language of myths and quaive, sacred poems, spot the allegory in God's spells. I'm telling thee one thing, we are Ginungagap. We are the great void, the one with the universe, the fullness, truth, eternity, reality, divinity. Odin given to Odin, myself given to myself, Halva Maul Visa 138, and on. Gnothis Autan, know thyself. By transcending to pure consciousness. Some try to imprint the sheer lie that heathen men had no means to write, no alphabet, letters or anything, until the Latin one was imported to the northern countries. Truth in this issue is that we had the Futhark, the runir runes. Just ask Dr. Thor Gunnar Snyder, who has studied runes for decades. But the Roman Empire, that, for example, made the new Churchian era calendar, wanted the Latin alphabet letters to be the only one used in their empire, Europe, and therefore claimed the runes to be devilish stuff. All literature and runes were burnt at the stake. Only some stones, rune stones, survived, and also some carefully hidden texts carved on wood were saved. Musical notes also. We had letters, we could write and read, we had literature, fúðark, fé, úr, þurs. But runer could also be used as some power, as they, in compounds, conveyed some hidden meaning. Still another thing is, fimple runer are inner divine power that we gain access to in the transcendental state, the self referral state of consciousness, nemum up runar. Rúnar mynd þú finna og ráðunar stafi, mjög stóra stafi, stinna stafi, er fáði þimbul þulur og gerðu ginn reyin og reist hroftur rögna. Rúnstones were beautifully decorated with colors, design, an art that we should respect and appreciate as our most precious cultural heritage. Upbrood the lies about our forefathers having been illiterate. Vár is a goddess of fidelity and trustworthiness. Vairingar name themselves in her blessed name. Husband and wife, wife have her to bless their wedding and progeny. Sin is the sieve that refuses, sinyar, all ignorance. Only purity gets into glasses in the silver-leaved woods. Sin, synth, synth, sin, sinyun, that's refusal, Sat, true, sattva, purity and truth. When Odin is given to Odin, myself given to myself, but that is one, not two, we are in the self-referral state, Odin will live And here, vixla, purifying us of sin, automatically occurs. Very simple, easy and natural, and should be practiced regularly the whole life by everyone. Mother Earth, Mother Earth, has a shield, Svalin, as a protection for the burning hot rays of the sun. If Svalin falls off, both land and seas will burn up. Did the olden guys, our reverend forefathers, know about the danger of the atmosphere being damaged by ignorant men's behavior? The ocean layer, the greenhouse effects. Why would they warn us? Because they knew. Mother Nature is revered and thanked, as she cares for our needs. In order to suffocate reverence to nature, she was said by Christianity in Iceland to be devilish stuff only, distracting men away from the church's God, who claims to be the only true God. These men's first commandment states that there are other gods, yet their God says, I am the only true one, but we, heathen men, do not use him as we have our pantheon. Nature was called Skessa, the man-eating female in the mountains. We just took the Skessa into folklore, where she lives as something stable, great and wealthy, and someone really liked to stay with her in the mountain cave. Sjöpn is the goddess of love. The Icelandic word Sjöpni means a lover. We invoke her when we fall in love. 
Great goddess deficiency accumulated when Freya was banned, along with our other goddesses. So they there down south in the Roman Empire made Miriam, the Jewish girl in Nazareth, to fill the gap. She is obedient as to serve the dogma of the patriarchy, Dominus. This Maria is coming closer to the Norse goddess as she is blonde by an Icelandic female artist. Deny manipulation of their god. Women priests claim all evil to come from the Roman Empire, churches of women disdain. God is a she for them, and not a woman hater, as they learn in university. Female priests claim the patriarchy to be the original sin and the cause of all evil in society. They claim they are God to be of female gender, but deny to be going back to the goddess. A kind of patriarchic domination, theocracy, dominating female mono god, but not a goddess, if I got them right. Now, the name seems to come straight from Sanskrit. Many Sanskrit words are found in Norse mythology, but not in other European languages. Futla means Purna, the fool. Gnau and Futla serve Frigg. Vatican or Stamp, Rome. Girls were and still are named Dolores, Adolerata. Women's flesh was the cause of sin. Suffering and pain should be women's role in life in addition to obedience. These are delicate divine creatures. A boy in love calls his girlfriend Dreamadis, the nymph of his dreams. Goddesses may have these as maids, servants, so Futla is Frick's maid, and so is Gnau on her hof Varpnir, the good horse who runs land and seas equally easily. Sanskrit dies. Axes are symbolic for oaths. But oaths should be about evolution. Nothing in the world cannot change. As the world is all changed and all about evolution, never make an oath on that something will not be changed, as times and ideas and circumstances change, and we too. To be stubborn and blame a stupid old oath does not suffice as an excuse for stagnation, we are here to evolve. A way of good evolutionary lifespan is to change from the past, let go of the past, to the present, where we are all responsible, and decide to change into something even better in the future, heading for perfection. Love our Mother Earth, and never ever violate the laws of nature. From the earth we see the sun, the moon, the other planets, the stars, the sky. She is the center of our world of men, geocentric, not egocentric. My theory is, Loki is mankind, sometimes a nuisance. Mother Nature cares for our needs, but we have to give her back. Did you still know that? Gjöf skal gjalda ef vinnáttu á að halda. Give back to sustain friendship. And how? How do we give her back? By transcending, my lovely. Nature is a whale that hides reality out of sight. But know that all her gifts have come from the hidden field that underlies the visible nature. To sustain the gods, we transcend, and they will sustain us. To give back to Mother Nature, we transcend. Then Fenrir will not grow big. And rain will come in the right time, and nature will care for all our needs, and we need not worry about anything. 